shall go on to the second video uh, discussing centroids. I have already told you centroids are, centroid is the geometrical center of a figure. We have already discussed centroid of a triangle and a rectangle. Let us go on to the centroid of circles. Uh, as usual, let us first see how the formulae work out. So, if I am going to have a circle and I need the center of this circle, this is absolutely fine by me. If this is the diameter, d by 2, comma, d by 2, will be my uh, center. No issues with this. And what is the area of the circle? The area of the circle, you all know, is by r squared. Now, if I have a scenario like this, axis here. Yeah. I will have the y axis here. My centroid is going to be somewhere here. My x coordinate is from the y axis, y coordinate is from the x axis. So when I drop a line flow, let us see. From the origin to here, we know is fine. It is r or it is d by 2. It is fine. Now this from here, where it comes and hits the half of the circle where this line is coming and hitting the half of the circle is calculated as 4r by 3 pi. Uh, this formula is got by integrating, uh, taking a small area and integrating for the entire semicircle. So, when you drop a perpendicular from this centroid to the half of the circle, this works out to be 4r by 3 pi. So, which means your x is given as r here. Your y is going to be 4r by 2. Now, let us take this scenario. My centroid is going to be right here. This calculate x and y. So, x again is not at all a problem. x is r. Now, look at y. I told you from the centroid, when you drop a perpendicular to the middle of the circle, it is 4r by 3 pi. But this entire length we know is r. If this is going to be 4r by 3 pi, this fellow, this distance is going to be 4r by 3 pi. What is this distance going to be? y is going to be r minus 4r by 3 pi. This is how you calculate for this semicircle. Let us take another scenario. The centroid is somewhere here. Let us see. Now, here, your y is going to be r. Because from the center of the circle, it is drop. y is r. What is x? So, from here, you are dropping a perpendicular to the dome of the circle, not to the center of the circle. So, r minus 4r by 3 pi. Now, this one, I think this you should be able to work it out yourself. So, centroid will be somewhere here. I drop a perpendicular. So, y is equal to r, x is equal to 4r by 3 pi. Remember, when you have a semicircle, one coordinate is always going to be r. The other coordinate will either be 4r by 3 pi or it will be r minus 4r by 3 pi depending on the orientation of the semicircle. Let us work out a couple of problems here. Now I have a figure here. I have a rectangle, I have a triangle, I have a semicircle. As usual, first we draw the x-axis and the y-axis. I have three different figures as you can see, a rectangle, a triangle and a semicircle. What do we do? Yes, we develop a table and we find out each of the parameters. Now if I take the rectangle, First, I will find the area of the rectangle, 2 into 3. So, what will I write here? I will write in centimeter square, 2 into 3. Am I doing it in centimeter? No, I am doing it in meter. So, this is not centimeter square, this is meter square. Okay. 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 2 into 3. Now, center. Center of a rectangle is somewhere here. Drop a perpendicular here. Drop a perpendicular here. So, along the x-axis, it is 3 by 2. It is going to be 1.5. Because this is 3, half of it 
is sorry it's not 3 by 2 i'm sorry so the radius is 3 so what is the diameter here this diameter here is 6 am i right the radius is 3 here so it is 6 by 2 which is going to be 3 along the y axis this is 2 half of it is going to be 1 meter right simplest rule now let us go on to the uh, next which is the triangle for the triangle the side is 2 the base is 3 meter. So, what is the area of the triangle? Half. Base is 3. The height is 2. What is x? So, this is going to be a centroid of a triangle. We have already discussed this. So, for x axis, it is going to be 3 by 3 plus this entire length, which is going to be 6. So, it is going to be 7. What about y? Now, y is going to be straightforward for you. Uh, it is going to be 2 by 3. So, your y is going to be 2 by 2. Now, we need to calculate for semicircle. So, for semicircle, what is the area? For a circle, we know area is pi r square. So, for a semicircle, it is pi r square by so, what will I have here? Pi 3 square whole thing divided by 2. So, what will be x? So, now let me, your x is going to be somewhere here. So, when I draw a line here, this is going to be fine. R, your x is going to be r, which is going to be 3. What is going to be your y? Your y is going to be yes. 4 r by 3 pi. So, 4, what is r? 4 into 3 by 3 pi plus this 2, 2 meter. Am I right? So, your y is going to be 4 into 3 by 3 into 3.14 plus. Now, Having written all this, these things are going to be very simple. You need to calculate. So, you have three different areas. So, what will you do? Your x bar here works out to be 3.411. You know the procedure. Y bar is going to be 2.06. So, what have I done here? Again, to refresh your memory, your x bar is going to be sigma ai xi by sigma ai, which is 99.411 divided by 29.137, 99.411 divided by 29.137, summation of this, summation of this, y bar is going to be summation of this, 60.268 divided by 29.137, that is what gives me these two answers, right? It, right? So, furthermore, I am just going to tell you how to calculate the area, how to locate the center points. Otherwise, I think you can do things yourself. Calculations. Now, centroid of an area, I am given with this. First point, I will take the x-axis and the y-axis. So, this is 3, which means this, this radius is 3. So, this is going to be 6. So, what do I need to do now? I need to first, um, what do we take? We can take this as Area 1, you can take this as area 2. Either way, it's fine. So, area 1 is circle. And what is the radius of the circle? It is going to be 3. So, where is the centroid for the circle? It's going to be here. My x is going to be r. What is y? And should I drop it here? No, I have to drop it here. So, what is my y going to be? r minus 4r by 3 pi because this is 4r by 3 pi. So, y is going to be r minus 4r by 3 pi. My radius is 3. So, I filled it up here. Okay. So, y is going to be, this is the semicircle thing. And y is r minus 4r by 3 pi. So, this is uh, r and this is r minus 4r by 3 pi. Now, what is, what is it for the rectangle? For the rectangle, we know the center is going to be somewhere here. So, your x is going to be 3. 
no, there's no issue with that. Yes, it is 3 here. What about your y? Your y is going to be 1.5 plus this 3, which has to be 4.5. Multiplying and finding out centroid of an area. I think these calculations, now you can now do it yourself. Now, let me discuss one more case. Centroid of this is going to be tricky. Now, centroid of an area for this, you are to find centroid of this shaded area. Okay. Let me again. This is my y axis. This is my x axis. I need to find the centroid of the shaded area. This is actually quite simple. You know how you do? You find the area of the rectangle. You find the area of the triangle. You find the area of the semicircle. You don't need this area. So what do you do? You subtract it. So far you are adding all the three areas, right? So what, what do you do here? For a semicircle, you subtract it. You add these two. It will give you 375. When you subtract the area for the semicircle, you get this. Again, you add these two. Subtract the area for the semicircle, you get this. And similarly here. So it is the same as we have done earlier. Find area for all three. You don't need this area. What do you do? You subtract. And finally, we will take up this. Okay. So, let, let, let me draw the x and y axis here. Y axis. X axis. Just tell you how to calculate. Then that should be easy. For first, this is a rectangle. So, what will you do? You will find out the area. Now, this is a triangle. You know, you will find out the area. You know how to find the centroid. You know how to find the x. You know how to find y. This is a circle. For a circle, the radius is 0.2. So, and this is in between these two. Actually, uh, I have drawn it wrong. Ah, this is correct. The circle is in between here, which means the circle is, the length is exactly this. So, what will be your x of the circle? Your x is going to be 0 0.7. And what will be your y of the circle? Drop a perpendicular to, the, to this. That is going to be 0 0.6 divided by, so your y is going to be 0.3. You get it? Let me repeat. Your x is going to be this entire length because the center of the circle is here. And this length is, I think this length is 0 0.7. This length is 0.7. Now, this entire length is 0.6. This circle is in the center, which means this point is going to be 0.3. So, what do you do here? So, you find out area of the rectangle, area of the triangle, and you have to subtract the area of the circle. Similarly, um, Ax of rectangle, Ax of triangle, subtract Ax of this, and then... Uh, a, a y of this, A y of the second one and subtract the A y of this, then it is the same. Sigma A x i by sigma A, sigma A y i by sigma A. I think these calculations, you can do it yourself. It is just a visualization that is important. If you need any more problems of, or if you need any clarification, please post it in the comment section. I will definitely respond all the questions.